It's in the feed with Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. In the feed today, Stanley launching a Barbie Dream Quencher collection. Stanley's jumped the shark now. Like, do people still care about Stanley anymore? I think so. I mean, it's not what it was, though. I think if they had like a one come out, like a special one, there would be a craze again. Okay, well, this is potentially it. This is a tumbler set that costs $480. That's a set? Mm. Wow. It features designs inspired by Barbie from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. See, this is the problem when they do the collaboration here. Okay, so you got to pay uh, you got to pay the uh, the Stanley people, but you also got to pay the Barbie people. Mm-hmm. Mattel needs their cut, too. This is why uh, when I get the toothpaste, I don't get the toothpaste with Super Mario on it. I get the toothpaste with Crest on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's Crest is just, yeah. I just have to pay one person. Then. Yeah. I, I have um, my two Stanleys. I, I left my orange one that I've had forever. I left that one at work last Friday, and uh, so I took this, my green one, uh, that wasn't mine, actually. I bought it from my mother-in-law for Christmas last year, and I forgot to mail it, so I just <laughs> <laughs> so I just took it. <laughs> Look at me. I am the mother-in-law now. <laughs> True story. So where's the orange one? Uh, now it's back home now. Okay, I was going to say, yeah. did somebody cop it? No. Who is no. left? <laughs> Who's left to Who's steal, gonna it? steal it? Who's going to steal it? Honest to God. Uh, an epilepsy drug may cure snoring. Tests show that this drug named Sulfiam huh. uh, show the drug significantly reduces sleep order symptoms, sleep disorder symptoms rather, and is an alternative to a CPAP machine. Interesting. So if you look like Darth Vader going to sleep every night. Or you could just take this. Or you could just take this. There we go. Another pharmaceutical drug. That'll fix everything. <laughs> uh, studies are underway to confirm the results. And if so, then you potentially uh, the CPAP machine goes away. And, that, and then the people that do have uh, that situation uh, might once again get some action. <laughs> right. Because it's all fun and games. Oh, boy. So it's night, night time. You got to put that <laughs> on. Like, Oh, no. (laughs) What happened? A 12-year-old College Park, Maryland boy arrested for stealing a Tesla. Despite multiple luxury car thefts, the boy was released back to his parents. He has been busted 10 times by the police for stealing cars and scooters. He has never been prosecuted because Maryland law does not permit criminal charges against anyone under the age of 13. My God. I'm sorry. No. That's nuts. You know, listen, I'll give you once, maybe even twice. Ten times? It reminds me of those kids in L.A. that were robbing the cars and then they started robbing, like, celebrities' homes. Yeah. Yes. Crazy. Sorry, no, bro. You know, and then, like, why are the parents not charged? Like, just like the shootings. In this case, I think the parents should be charged. Yeah, it's like... Someone needs to be charged. He should be grounded and not be able to leave the house to steal cars. Exactly. Homeschool him, whatever it takes. Whatever the case. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's just, uh, man, brutal, uh, unreal. Uh, Stephen Hanlon allegedly threatened kids at a Florida Walmart while looking like a pirate. Hanlon, who lives in a nearby trailer park, was charged with aggravated assault. Or aggravated. <laughs> <laughs> Arrogant. <laughs> Stay away from the Stanley yeah, tumblers. Yeah. Those are mine. I need all the Barbie tumblers. <laughs> uh, the incident occurred in the parking lot where Hanlon was playing with knives and acting like a pirate. Wow. Florida. Oh, I hear it's a great That's state. It. Oh, right. you ask anyone. Oh, yeah, Florida's great. It's only great because it's cheap. Mm-hmm. And it's not even cheap anymore. But I don't think it is anymore. No. No. I don't think there's so. There's no state income tax, but nor is there here. And look at what happens. All the places that have no state income tax, that's where the crazy cra- uh, crap happens. Go to Fremont Street. Uh-huh. See what goes down. Yes. This is called a Tuesday. <laughs> right. Okay, nuts. A brawl broke out after a Bosnian bride tossed her bouquet at her wedding reception. Petals were flying, dresses torn, scene turned chaotic. Single women tussled fiercely for the flowers. Onlookers shocked by the intensity, intensity of the scuffle. One guest called the women involved pathetic. Mm-hmm. And I would say that's the case. It no pretty, one will marry me until I get this. It looks pretty bad. Awful. Yeah. It looked really bad. Do you believe in it, by the way? Um, you know, I didn't even do it. Good. I didn't we didn't throw ours. It's I think so it's silly. so cute, but yeah, we didn't do it. It's cute unless I was you get, at like, the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I told him at my wedding, I said, listen, I just want to have a good time. So we'll cut the cake, but that's it. Everything else, we're just gonna hang out. So that's you know what again, props to you. Because you just are chill. You guys are chill <laughs> well, people. Well, you can ask Patrick that. Well, okay, you're <laughs> nuts. But like, you're not, you're like, you don't, it's not all about the production with you. For sure. Which I do enjoy very much. Yes. Finally, we go to Dubai, where I'm going to try to get this name right. 
Sheikha Mara bint Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. Wow. I'll give it to you. She's going to get to knock some of those names off because she just announced her divorce on Instagram and launched a new fragrance called Divorce. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Which I'm sure smells like microwavable meals. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fans praised her for being classy and reserved and turning a painful experience into a business opportunity. Sheikha has not revealed the release date for her luxury perfume, but she did pose with her new bottle. She posted, Dear husband, as you are occupied with other companions... Was she married to, uh, to, to what's his name, from Foo Fighters? Oh, mate. yeah, right, yeah. maybe. No, okay. I hereby declare our divorce. I divorce you, I divorce you, and I divorce you. Take care, your ex-wife. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's a, that's, I'm here for it. What does it smell like, though? What, what do you think divorce smells like? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> I do I, not I, want to know. I'm not sure. I, you know, I, I tell you what it looks like. Sickies on a Monday. <laughs> Sickies on a Monday. So Sickies Garage, they have one adult can get you two kids meals. Yes, there you go. Because they know. Yeah, you might have lost someone along the way. <laughs> yeah.